Hi, my name is Harold Doherty and I'm speaking to you from Fredericton, New Brunswick. Beside me is a picture of my 12-year-old son, Connor. Connor has autism disorder with profound developmental delays. He was diagnosed with autism approximately 10 years ago. At that time, there were no autism-specific services available in New Brunswick. More specifically, there was no ABA treatment available to any large extent and there was no government funding available to help people obtain ABA treatment for their autistic children. As most of us are aware, the only proven effective treatment for autism to this day remains ABA or Applied Behavior Analysis. Five decades and hundreds of studies of research have concluded that ABA is still the only proven effective treatment for autism. What has happened in New Brunswick is that we have obtained some ABA services, but those services are not guaranteed. What we would like to see is ABA covered in the form of autism treatment under Medicare. That would remove the political possibilities, that would remove the uncertainty surrounding whether we will have ABA services for autism tomorrow, next week, or the month or years thereafter. How can we get that done? We can't get it done through the courts. That question, that issue was answered definitively by the Supreme Court of Canada in the Otten case. We have to do it politically. We have to do it through focused political action. And there's no one better to lead that action, to lead that effort to obtain ABA coverage under Medicare than Feet BC and the families who were involved in the Otten decision. I'd like to thank you as a parent of an autistic child in New Brunswick for the effort and for the sacrifices of all the families that were involved in the Otten case. And I would encourage each of you to support Feet BC on March 2nd and thereafter as they continue the struggle to obtain Medicare coverage for ABA treatment for autistic children. Thank you very much.